what up guys? How's it going? Come on puppies, let's go outside. Come on pups. Oh, come on pups. Oh, you got some food to eat. Oh. Well, happy Foul Friday to all of you guys out there. How's it going? And welcome back to another one. Oh, we got clouds rolling in, boys. Oh, we're going to have a lot of wind tomorrow, boys. Oh, man. The hunting should be great in Kansas, central Kansas, the Midwest in general. I can't wait for this weekend. I am so freaking excited. But what I'm more excited for is this right here. I'll show you. Nope, not the dirty quad. Nope. Nope, not the Razor with a flat tire, but for this bad boy. Oh, today the little fella lanyard is 25% off. Today starts the Ducks 10 days of Christmas. So it's 10 days in a row. Each day is gonna be one of our top selling products. Each day, one product every day is gonna be 25% off. So today, it is a little fella lanyard. 25% off these right here. I'll link them down in the description below if you wanna pick one up. Save you some money and get one if you've been wanting one. You need to follow myself and Ducks on Instagram. That's where we're gonna keep you extra up to date on the day. Every morning at 6 a.m. we'll have a story swipe up that notifies you, hey, this is what today's sale is. So follow us both there, and I will have some more videos up as the week progresses, but check the site if you really want to find out what's for sale every day. But I just want to let you guys know all that before we get into this here nice, comfy, pit blind video. I'll tell you what, it was with Ross Wade, his, Ross's dad, and Matt Zilla was in town. Literally, Matt killed it the entire weekend on the photos, and we had a blast this day. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Oh, we finally made it here. We're running a little late. It's like 6.30. We have about 20 minutes until shooting light. Uh, Ross's dad already beat us here. He's already pitching decoys. So it looks like there's going to be a total of five of us today. So I'm going to start pitching decoys. I'll turn the camera back on when it becomes a little bit lighter out. What are you doing here? Hey, stranger danger. Dream. We got Matt Zilla. Matt hasn't been here forever. It's been a while. Yeah. Check out the pit blind. This is old. This is Bill and Ross's pit blind. Goodness. Looking good. Right in front. Right in front. Nice shot. Oh, this is Storm's first really deep big water of the season, and she's already loving it. Look at her. She's going to be fighting some waves today because it's, uh, it's windy. Down the trees. Oh, look at her loving it. Right, she's eating it up. I need a step stool in here. I've got a go. Oh no. no. no Aaron. I got Aaron. There we go. Group to the left over the trees. Oh hey, two right there. Two, two. <laughs> I couldn't even see him on the camera. <laughs> yeah, that was like a dong. Oh, well, there we go. That was a that's a big green head. Big old green head. Oh, I know someone that's complaining. That's Storm. She's a she's got a little bit of a hike this time. <laughs> Well, yeah, they blew a lot of feathers off of that bird. I don't, I don't know how that sucker didn't go down well. Oh, 
Oh, I'm out. Oh, I didn't know if I had one show left or not. I'm like, is there one in there? I'm Woo! Watching you wait to see if you smoke. <laughs> I was trying, darn it. Well, drop two out of the three. That ain't bad. Catch it. Oh! Oh, that was close, dude. That was really close. Really tried to do that. That was close. I thought you were joking. That was, I think it almost hit the end of my finger. Do you see how? I didn't get to shoot, but that would have been an epic catch. That would have been that catch number sweet. two. Yeah. That would have went just as viral. No, nah, they'd, maybe. Have like, they'd have been like, that guy did it again already. <laughs> yeah, he faked it. That guy faked it. Get down. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, boys. Come on. Oh, they're spinning, they're spinning, they're coming over. Oh, well, the first one dropped like a stone. It's a green head, at least. Once we got the green head out of the girls. What'd you do, you jam? I didn't have shells in my gun. What's wrong oh, with you, son? <laughs> Bob, did you take the shells out of my gun? No, I didn't. I swear to God. I don't do that. I don't do that. <laughs> oh, here they are, boys. Nice! Nice! Oh, man. Oh, God, I just caught a shell in the ear. You just caught a shell in no, the ear, old that's what, I caught a shell in the ear that hit oh. the ear plug. <laughs> well, looks like they dropped two. Don't miss this time. <laughs> there we go, long goose. Oh. Yeah, try it. Get your ear? No. no he, he survived that one. Definitely wasn't shootable. He definitely wasn't shootable. <laughs> Zilla, you are wrong. <laughs> he was not shootable. Well, this is the uh, duck that fell right behind the blind that I almost caught. Look, he took a stick straight through the jugular all the way out the top. Poor guy. Golly. Getting a little slower yet. <laughs> Now that I say that, the geese start flying. But I'm going to show you the spread real quick. That's the left side. And here is the right side. We have a bunch of ducks up close. And then we have a little raft of uh, goose floaters out to the right out yonder. Well, um, it's actually picking up. It just hit 9 o'clock. And uh, last time, what was it, two days ago, we hunted over here. We actually hunted a pond south about a quarter mile. What's happening is it's a very, very windy day. We have a side wind. So we're sitting right here. We have a side wind coming across this way. And when the birds are coming in, they're coming in like this. They're jumping over this first set, and we we're expecting them to land right here. Well, there's a little bit of a wind break. Once you get past those decoys, it, the wind it picks up a bunch, and there's like a wall of wind, and that's where they're landing is right over there. So we're going to move some of these decoys right here. We're going to move them over here so if they do want to jump over and land in front of them, they'll actually be in front of the blind. These are the things that you have to recognize and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And uh, if you don't try it, you'll never know if they would have worked. So like I always say guys, if you got an idea and if it isn't working, it's never going to hurt to try. You want to try something different. Switch something up. It's not going to hurt to try. You want to move some of these? Oh uh, yeah, I should grab those. Hi girl. Hi girl. Hi Storm. She's a happy girl. Oh, look at that camera. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got the beast. But we got old Matt. Matt actually moved to Arkansas. He he's been uh, guiding here in Kansas, and he recently just moved to Arkansas. Bought him a new camera, a new lens. And if you haven't checked out his Instagram page, you really need to. Go follow Matt right here. Tons of tons and tons of saucy photos. He's uh, been getting some good ones here, so you guys need to go check out his page. These ducks just aren't giving it up. Do I try the one? Try the one. Yeah. Nice! Nice! Oh! 
<laughs> oh my good god, you plowed him. My hat tilted back. I don't know if you guys seen that, but he just got smoked. Look at how big these green heads are. Just absolute northern studs. Kansas, we don't usually get these big boys. Look at this one. Look how big big their heads are. I mean, compared to my hand. Just huge guys. Huge green heads. This side shot that bird. I don't know what you Oh, baloney. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're shootable. I think so. <laughs> sure they're Look at all these ducks. That's a lot of ducks, and not one of them like our little spread here. Don't know why. Oh, well, that's gonna wrap it up. We're gonna have to pick up all this mess. Um, some of the birds in the morning really wanted it, but then, man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of birds here, and it's warm. It's still, it's probably 50 degrees, every bit of 50 degrees, and these birds just are not intrigued with this warm weather. Look at this little toy that Ross has. Oh, boy. A six-wheeler Outlander. Oh, 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 man, what I would do to have that bad boy. That bad boy is my dream toy there. You know, you know how much I'd use that for duck hunting? Good lord. Well, here we go. Look how big these green heads are yet again. The other day we came out here and just shot big old greenies and that's what's still here. But not a bad time at all. Thank you to Ross and his dad Bill for inviting us out. Had one heck of a hunt. I mean, didn't shoot a bunch, but that's, again, I haven't been shooting a bunch of birds here lately because I've been concentrating on ducks over water. I just want to make good little videos like this that y'all enjoy and have a good time in the blind. And that's what we did today is it's all about having a good time in the blind. We laughed all morning. We all <laughs> traded pictures on our phones from social media and laughed and that's what duck hunting is all about. That's why duck hunting is here. It's for all of the camaraderie involved. But now that the sun's up, I'll show you. This is just a huge watershed. And uh, here's the blind. This blind, I'm telling you, it's just beautiful. It has, has a little pro, propane tank under there. It has heaters in front of every guy. And you seal it up, it stays dry when you're not in it. Freaking beautiful little pit blind. Aw, oh, Storm, she had a good day. A good girl. Oh, man. Well, that was a fun little pit blind hunt. That pit blind, I'm telling you, is amazing. Every guy has a little shelf in front of you for your cameras, for your shells. Has a little slot where you put your gun so your gun can't fall over. It's actually a really safe little idea. And it has a little heating element that runs through the whole thing and each guy has a little platform. You can put your hands or your gloves or whatever. Just freaking awesome. But if you guys enjoyed this little pit blind hunt, give your boy a big old thumbs up right now. And like I said earlier, today and today only, the little fella lanyard is on sale 25% off. Save yourself some money. Go down in the description below and get yourself one. Go pick you one up. But like I said, 10 days of Christmas, DucksWaterfowl.com, each day is going to be one of the top selling items, one of the top selling products, one of the most liked products on our website. And you need to order by December 9th. December 9th is the last day that you can order, so you can be sure you have your items that you've ordered by Christmas. So remember that, December 9th is a deadline to have your orders in for Christmas. But like always, if you guys haven't subscribed, you need to do so. It's gonna be waterfowl hunting all the rest of the season. I'm really enjoying getting in on these little water duck hunts. I've done a lot more of them this year. Chased the ducks a ton more, and I'm enjoying it. I have to say, I am enjoying it so much. But thank you all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.